Let's face it, it's really hard to become a developer on Roblox when you start out. There's so many different paths you can take and so many different things that seem promising, but a lot of things just don't work and it's really hard when you start to figure it all out. But I wanna guide you through it in this video so that you can become a successful developer. First off, when you start out as a developer, you might wanna learn scripting, building, UI, animation, or another skill, or maybe you wanna learn them all. But really, if you don't know what skill to choose, this is the best thing you can do. Just start. If I was a beginner, I'd personally just start with building because it is the best option to get a feel of Roblox Studio. Because when you start building, you just follow a simple process to get started. You get familiar with the UI. And if you're used to other programs and you're not used to coding and stuff, this is going to be way easier just looking through the UI of Roblox Studio, figuring out how to build. It'll just be way, way easier than trying to figure out scripting or something else right off the bat. So I recommend learning at least the basics of building when you start. So here's Here's the process. Number one, learn the basics of the UI of Roblox Studio. So you click around the menus, figure out what everything does. Just mess around with all the different tools and aspects of Roblox Studio and just figure out what everything does. Try to mess around with it and have fun. Second, learn the keybinds of Roblox Studio. You can figure out the keybinds with a YouTube video like mine, which is going to be in the top right hand corner. It's going to show you some of the basic keybinds. And it's also going to go over this building process in a much more detailed way. I highly recommend checking that out after you watch this for you should mess around with parts and just make some basic stuff in roblox studio like try to make a house try to make a building try to make a gas station you know simple stuff making small stuff like this and especially using real life images to inspire your work will really help you get started and you'll be able to really improve really fast when you do this then just keep trying to make stuff just like what you see in the games that you play and love on roblox and notice specific details that they use in their games to make them look so good and try to incorporate some of these tactics into your game in your own way. And also, if you're on Twitter or the Roblox Dev Forum or Discord servers about development like mine, link in the description. If you're looking at these places, you can really get a good idea of the tactic that people use and you can learn a lot about other people's work and how you build on Roblox. And it helps you see the competition and competition motivates you. But don't beat yourself up over not being as good as these people when you start out because it's just impossible to be as good as these extremely skilled people when you start out. After you've done this process and repeated it tons of time, continue to keep improving. Improving. If you continue to keep improving, there's no doubt that you'll be successful one day. If you are ruthlessly trying to improve a development and learning new skills and stuff and always promoting yourself in every way possible, like Twitter and all that stuff. I have a lot of different videos on exactly how to improve as a developer in all kinds of different ways. You'll get better with time and start to understand the process to making games and the process of learning development itself. And after that, what I do is I figure out my goals of development. And at this point, I choose one of a few main paths based on my goals. So do you want to be a large developer? Do you want some Robux? Do you want to create what you enjoy and you don't care either way? Or do you just want to mess around with friends and make stuff in Roblox Studio? Asking yourself these questions about your goals and what you want to achieve on Roblox will help you decide whether you want to go directly into making your own games or working for other people on commissions for their game, which means doing work for someone else's game. So one of the best ways, in my opinion, to make Robux, especially if you're learning development, you can actually get commissions pretty early on. You'd be surprised if you are really hustling to get better at development. But it would be helpful to do commissions to get a starting fund for your first game so that you can outsource the work to other developers and pay for ads after you get commissions and have some funds saved up. And also so that you can learn to work with other people so that you know how the game development process work and how or even if you are someone who can lead a team, which it's not for everyone. And, you know, I personally work for companies on Roblox. You know, I got paid well and I've had other companies reach out to me asking me to work for them and giving me very high offers of pay, like thousands and thousands of dollars. You can really start earning income and doing whatever you want on Roblox pretty quickly. It's not too long of a time and you just need to enjoy it and keep trying to improve all the time. But I'd go down either path. You must have value to present to people. You either have to have payment for other people to make your own game. Not that many people are going to work for free or you should work for someone else or you should make a game or project on your own. All these paths require you to have some kind of value to someone else. And even the last one, because you have to have the value of the skills that you've learned 
to get good at that development and also you have to have the discipline to finish the game because you might have motivation at first to start it but you got to ensure that you're making consistent progress and set small goals and a large goal that you strive towards so which one do you choose if you choose to start working for others on roblox click the video on screen i'll guide you through exactly how to do that but if you want to form your own team, check out the video on screen for a full guide on how to form your own team on Roblox to develop the game of your dream. Enjoy the process development. You got this.